Hi class, this is me again. We will endeavor to make this discussion as fun as possible. For what we learned with pleasure, we never forget. So the coverage of our discussion for today are as follows. So we will know today the principals, who are the principals, who are the accomplices, accessories, when are accessories not criminally, criminally liable, and other important matters related to the topics already mentioned. So, um, class, we will be, uh, as we discuss, we will be recalling some topics for ease of reference and para dili sad mo maka, makalimot ba because uh, as emphasized uh, repeatedly na ko, uh, kinahanglan dito taaning atong criminal law uh, book 1 sa pag-learn how to connect the topics from uh, sa tibuok kuan sa tibuok revised penal code okay so we may recall class nga we learned already about the concept of felony in article 3 we also learned about criminal liability how it is incurred and the circumstances affecting criminal liability katong ato ang justifying, mitigating, exempting circumstances, aggravating circumstances, and agatong mga alternative circumstances. Okay, so we learned that uh, felonies or acts or omissions punishable by law. We also learned about the classification of felonies and the purposes why we need to classify the felonies. So, unsa galito ang mga purposes? One, to bring about the proportionate penalty and equitable punishment. The penalties are graduated according to their degree of severity. Okay, you need to remember class that uh, these um, classifications uh, apply only sa crimes or felonies punishable under the revised penal code because katong uh, mga offenses punishable by special penal laws dili na to, to dili tamo classify by ya o principal accessory or uh, accomplice ang katumu violate mismo sa uh, special penal law automatic siya mahimo siyang principal we do not talk also about attempted frustrated and consummated because katong mga violations sa special penal laws are considered consummated okay so here uh, ning learn ta sa uh, classifications sa felony as to manner of their commission we learned about intentional felonies we learned also about culpable felonies uh, we also learned about the stages of execution so we have uh, attempted frustrated and consummated we also learned about grave felonies less grave felonies and light felonies so uh, i underlined article 25 of the revised penal code because uh, it is important to know sa katong uh, penalties na to ani na to mahibawan kung unsa to mga afflictive penalties unsa tong capital punishment unsa tong uh, correctional penalties and light uh, penalties okay so as to count we also learned about compound complex crime composite crime so uh, article 48 is relevant we already discussed this diri na to na learn ang uh, complex crime in relation to your abiracio ictus, do not forget that. Okay? So, as to nature, we already learned about mala inse and mala prohibita. Okay? So, class, uh, it is important, again, to know, to learn uh, criminal law nga naamo sa ibabaw, naamoy bird's eye view. Because, kung atong ihalin tulad ang inyuhang sitwasyon na amo dere, unya, what if na din hi inyuhang destinasyon? So, sayun ba para sa inyuha mo abot ani nga mao nga destinasyon? Kung dili mo mo kakita sa mapa? Of course not. So, mo na siya importante nga naatay bird's eye view sa learning nato sa criminal law. So, this is the power of connection class. Again, so this is our roadmap. Uh, the color... Uh, color coding ani class we will learn later um, kanini asya nakahibaw na taaning article 3 connected ni siya sa article 6 actually daghan kayo mga um, daghan kayo nga mga article sa revised penal code book 1 class 
nga connected sa Article 3. However, maglisod naman tag color ana. Otherwise, ma-rainbow na ta. So, money siya nga, ako lang ni siyang gihimo o color coding, but it is for you to identify sa list in your notebook kung unsa sad ang mga connected nga mga articles ani mga respective articles mentioned in the table so we have articles 1 to 113 mo na siya ang coverage sa ato ang book 1 okay so ang atong discussion today starts dere sa article 16 so you learn no ang article 4 paragraph 1 dire ta naka learn sa katong proximate cause di ba so ano no no dire ta naka learn sa katong three types of kanini ang felonies or kaning crimes nga makumit nga wala ni mo intent So, unsa man to siya. Uh, first, katong aberasyo ictus. Second, katong praetor intentionem. Third, katong uh, error in persone. So, nga no akong giyalo ni si Article 48 and 49 because ang aberasyo ictus na to dire sa Article 4, Paragraph 1, connected man siya sa complex crime, nga Article 48. Ang ato asad nga error in per, uh, persona class in Paragraph 1 of Article 4 is connected po sa atong Article 49. Uh, Remember also that our praetor intentionem katong uh, uh, we did not intend so grave a wrong mao ni siya um, connected po ni siya sa article 13 katong mitigating circumstance pero remember nga si article 13 uh, nga katong praetor intentionem dili to siya magamit nga mitigating is circumstance kung uh, hazing because it is specifically provided uh, under the anti-hazing law nga uh, dili na siya pwede nga magamit nga mitigating circumstance okay so here we already learned this one katong criminal liability again sa atong article 4 we learned about APE si Aberasio Ictos, Praetor Intentionem Error in Persone okay so um mo start ta sa ato ang discussion sa article 16 so, Article 16 uh, talks about who are criminally liable, okay? So, these are the uh, persons criminally liable class. So, the following are criminally liable for grave and less grave felonies. Katong um, punishable grave felonies, katong punishable by capital and afflictive punishment with uh, penalties. Ang less grave, katong correctional nga penalties. So, kinsa man silang mga criminally liable. These are the following, si PAA. Principles, accomplices, uh, accessories. The following are criminally liable for light felonies. Principles and accomplices lang. Okay? So, always remember, accessories are not liable sa light felonies. We will, we will learn that later class. Nga no? So, uh, you, have to imp uh, you have to take note na this classification, kading ato ang paa, si principal, accomplice, and accessory, is true only under the RPC. It is not applicable under special penal laws because the penalties under the uh, SPL are never graduated. Okay? Do not use the term principal when the crime committed is a violation of special penal laws. Nga naman? principal na mo na sila tanan. Walang putigisgutan ng accomplice or accessory. Okay? So, as to the liability, you also have to take note of the participants in the grave, less grave, or light felony. When the felony is grave or less grave, all participants, okay? All, meaning sila tanan, are criminally liable. Sila, si P, uh, si principal, si accomplice, o si accessory, si pa -a. Uh, all, kung grave and less grave. But when the felony is only light, only the principal and the accomplice are liable. Accessory, the accessory is not. So, mo ni akong gisulat dire. Okay? So, mo ni siya ang ato ang uh, kuan class. Mo ni siya ang atong tabulation. Grave uh, and less grave, si pa ah. Sa light felonies, pa, si Laraduha. Nga man class, this is the reason. You have to refer to Article 9. Ang Article 9, which defines grave felonies, less grave felonies, and light felonies. Tanawa ra good class, 
si Grey Felony's class, mao ni siya ang uh, penalized with capital punishment or uh, penalties or katong afflictive nga mga penalties under Article 25. Si Les Grave, mao ni siya ang katong mga mao ni siya ang katong mga kani felonies class nga punishable siya with correctional in their uh, katong in their maximum period are correctional. Ang light felonies class gi penalized lang ni siya og arresto minor. Okay? So si arresto minor class kung inyo siya tan-aon mo skip ta dire class ha aron nga dili ta maglibog. Tan-awar go ni accountability sa kaning Article 25 si capital punishment na adire si death pero hang, wala na karon si death penalty ha afflictive penalties mao ni silang tanan. Correctional penalties mao ni sila tanan with the corresponding periods. Tan-awa class ang light penalties arresto minor. Okay, monish siya ang mga degrees ha, degrees. Ah, uh, reclusion at uh, perpetua, ang one degree lower ana niya is reclusion temporal. Okay? Ingon ana ang pag-count sa degrees. So, tanawa ang light penalties nimo. Arresto minor. Okay? Si arresto minor na pa bay ubos nga degree, wala na. Unya una una ah. Ang kanin niya bayang accessory ta si principal class. Uh, ang accomplice class uh, one degree lower na siya ni principal si accessory class two degrees lower na siya ni principal unya kung light penalty o uh, light felony arresto minor na siya na naghisgutay na taga tong lowest accessory man siya napaday lower nga degree wala na mauni siya nga wala judge siya na siya class o, uh, refer to article 53, the penalty to, the, to be imposed upon accessories to the commission of a consummated felony the penalty lower by 2 degrees that than, uh, that, than that prescribed by law for consummated felony shall be imposed upon the accessories, so kung imo siyang tanawon, i-connect ni mo siya sa article 25 wala na, wala na ubus pa sa aristo minor, money siya nga ang light felonies class Uh, ang ato ang accessory dili na jud siya uh, punishable so again accessories are not liable for light felonies this is the reason the minimis non curat lex so may pasabot ana the law does not deal with trifles so may uh, explanation ana kanang gagmay na ba gamay na kaayo siya so dili na ta mo deal ana mo nang wala nay penalty so You refer to Article 9 of the RPC, which says nga light felonies are punished only by uh, arresto with arresto minor. So, ang Article 43 said, uh, ang accessories are meted with penalty 2 degrees lower than the principal. So, mo niya kung gingon ganina, unsa pa may 2 degrees lower sa arresto minor. Na pa ba? Malamang wala na. So, inyo man ang nakita na dire. Okay? Siya ang pinakaubos class. So, mo nang dili na i-punished si accessory. Okay, we're going back to our roadmap. So, diri pa lang sa atong Article 16, we already mentioned about Article 9. Mo ni ang connected niya. Si Article 9. Nga naman, kay ato ang gidiscuss kung unsa si grave, less grave. Diri man gidefined sa Article 9. Si grave, less grave, oxalite, felonies. Okay? Ato pong na-connect. Gikan sa Article 16 ni ato tan ni Article 9 ato pong gi-connect sa Article 25. Unsa man ang connection sa Article 25? Si Article 25 mang good class siya ang nag-set sa penalties which may, may be imposed. Diri na to may bawaan og unsa mga principal penalties o accessory penalties. Makit-an po nato ang mga degrees. How is it arranged by degrees? Okay? So again, unsa pa may line nga connected? na connect po na to si Article 53. Nga naman, si Article 53 mang good class ang niingon kung unsa ang penalty for accessories which is 2 degrees lower than the principal. So do you do you see the magic of connection class? Uh, ang connection class dili lang na sa panggobyerno class. Magamit gyapon po na sa atong criminal law. Okay? So let's go to the question, uh, to the answer to this question. Who are criminally liable. Okay, let's go to number one. Principal. Principal's class are defined under Article 17. So, these are, uh, the following are considered principals. Those who take direct part 
okay, direct part in the execution of the act. Those who directly force or induce others. Ito na nang discuss during our kwan class, katong, atong checking sa midterm exams. Okay? Those who cooperate in the commission of the offense by another act without which, okay, it would not have been accomplished. So, maunin siya akong giingon nga indispensable cooperation siya kay without his act, the commission of the offense would not have been accomplished. Okay? So, kinsa man day ni silang tulo, kani silang tulo, mo ni silang lahi-lahi nga kanang mga principles. Kinsa man ni silang tulo, number one, sa paragraph one, we have principal by direct participation. Okay? Number two, or under paragraph two, we have principal by inducement. And under paragraph three, we have principal by indispensable cooperation. Okay? So, let's go to principal by direct participation. These are the elements para makonstitute siya nga principal by direct participation. Number one, that they participated in the criminal resolution. Criminal resolution. Unsa may pasabot o criminal resolution, class? Sa ilahang pagplano palang daan, sa ilahang pagmuni-muni palang daan, nga ilahang i-commit ni nga mao nga krimen against the person, mao na siya ang principal by direct participation. Okay? They carried out their plan and personally took part in its execution. Okay? So, after sa iyahang pagplano, after sa ilang pagsabot-sabot, ning take part pa dyan siya sa execution sa acts that directly tended to the same end. Okay? So, mone siya ang inyong timanan para mahimo siyang uh, their, uh, principal by direct participation. Okay. We have to explain the first element. Okay, the first element, they participated in the criminal resolution. What do you mean by that? Those who are liable participated in the criminal resolution. Unsa man siya? Materially execute the crime, appear at the scene of the crime, perform the acts necessary in the commission of the offense. Okay? So, dili siya, dili siya kaning enough class nga ang iyang pag-participate lang kay dito ra sa planning stage, okay? Dapat uh, sa material execution o sa performance sa acts, dapat na adud ni ang mao ma ma ang kaning same person na apo ni siya. Okay? So it is important to highlight class that for you to be considered a uh, principal by direct participation, you must appear at the scene of the crime. Dili gali ka mo appear sa scene of the crime class, then dili ka principal by direct participation. Malamang nga no man, personally took part in its execution. So, uh, lahi po ka, ayun no, nga personally took part siya, niya wala dahi siya dito. Kinsa inyong ipaabot dito, iyang konsensya. Diba? So, dapat mo appear dyan siya sa prince, uh, appear at the scene of the crime. Okay. By direct participation. Okay, another thing that you need to remember One who does not appear at the scene of the crime Is not liable Nga naman, mauna siya mga reasons Number one, his non-appearance is deemed desistance Which is favored and encouraged under the law Okay So, conspiracy under your article 8 Ito man yung discuss class Ang conspiracy is generally Not a criminal, uh, not a crime Dili dito siya punishable Unless uh, the law specifically provides a penalty Therefore, usa may mga example ani eh. Katong treason, kudita Mone siya, a uh, rebellion Nga conspiracy palang daan uh, Sa panagsabot-sabot palang daan uh, Punishable na siya So, mona siya nga Kung dili man ka siya ma-appear at the scene of the crime Considered lang siya nga ning conspire Nagkuan lang, nagsabot-sabot ra sila so, dili man siya criminally liable O dili man siya crime Ang conspiracy Except lang siguro Kung ang ilang gisabot-sabutan Is treason Then, by that time siguro Liable siya Kung treason ang crime Ang ilang gisabot-sabutan So, bisan pag dili siya ma-appear Sa scene of the crime Liable gapon siya Under Article 114 Which is conspiracy to commit treason Oh, dili siya Article 114 class uh, sayo, ang Article 114 mo na siya ang treason so um, 
third reason nga no nga kuan siya nga no nga dili siya criminally liable kung dili siya mo appear sa scene of the crime kaning direct participant principal by direct participation there is no basis for criminal liability because there is no criminal participation okay so mo ni mga reasons class nga nung importante nga mo appear jud siya at the scene of the crime for you to be considered a principal by direct participation okay So, the direct participator class, uh, they are those who materially execute the crime. They must appear at the scene of the crime. So, dili na kung, uh, kabalik-balik na dyan niya akong pagka-istorya class uh, to emphasize. This is, uh, if there is conspiracy by prior agreement, kani, nagsabot-sabot man ni sila no, nga kanang ilang i-execute ang krimen. If the principal by direct participation does not appear at the scene of the crime, he is not liable because, ako na nang gihisgutan. Nan appearance is desistance. Conspiracy is not a crime. By mere conspiring, the co-conspirator has not yet committed any crime. Except lagi kung treason. Kaya na may specific penalty mismo sa uh, conspiracy by mere conspiring to commit treason. Okay. So, uh, let's go back to the kuan. Uh, to the types of uh, three kinds of principal. So, human na taning direct participation. Second is principal by inducement. Okay? So, na na ta diri da pita. Principal by inducement. So, kinsa maning principal by inducement. Okay? So, mao ni ang mga elements for you to be considered a principal by inducement. Number one, that the inducement be made directly with the intention of procuring the commission of the crime. So, kung imuhang intention lang, isang binuang-binuang, patya na siya, ilan siya sa sakros. So, kung imuhang anara na binuang raka, um, wala ka intention nga imo jo i-procure isiguro nga makommit mismo ang krimen then you are not a principal by inducement so na jud siya mismo intention number two, that such inducement be the determining cause of the commission of the crime by the material executor so do you remember katong ato ang examination nga si Robin sa midterm exam nato si Robin unsa man tong akong gisulti si Robin nalipay siya nga gipatay ni Uh, Juan, kisa man ito hiskutan Juan ang iyang asawa na tungod sa iyang kalipay uh, iyang giadto ang katong kriminal dito sa prisuhan para ihatagan o kwarta kana, ang price ba ang kwarta na gihatag niya sa perpetrator sa krimen, sa akusado mao ba siya ang determining cause sa commission sa crime dili, nga naman, gihatagan man siya after as, as uh, prize ba nga nung uh, kani, na, tungo sa inkalipay nga gipatay ang yang ex-wife pero for you to be considered a principal by inducement dapat ang imuhang inducement meaning ang imuhang ang imuhang uh, presyo imuhang uh, consideration katong kwarta nga imong gihatag dapat maudyod siya ang determining cause for the commission sa crime by the material executor kinsa man is material executor si material executor class mo ni siya si principal by direct participation kay siya man mismo ang ning perform sa pagpatay sa krimen okay so there are two ways of becoming principal by induction by inducement number one, by directly forcing another to commit a crime directly forcing another unsa may gamiton gigamit ani niya using irresistible force physical force which reduces the person to a mere instrument katong pers- uh, principal by direct by direct uh, participation class gireduce siya into a mere instrument tungod sa iyang kahadlok tungod sa iya ha, sa physical force nga gi-exert against niya by the inducer okay using irresistible force number two, causing uncontrollable fear fear class grave actual and serious okay fear for one's life or limb not speculative fanciful or remote fear So, kanang tinud anay jud siya, actual siya nga, kaning actual and serious ang iyang gikadlo. Kandi lang, di na bang fear of the unknown class, dili na siya, uh, dili na siya covered, ana. Kanang tinuo jud, meaning, gipakita jud siya nga, kung dili ni mo pat yun, si so and so, akong sunogon, akong pat yun, akong kidnapon ning imuhang anak, nga naa, akong natak, nakitaan ka ron, nasa ilang eskwilahan. So, mao na siya ang, um, Cause, uh, causing uncontrollable fear Irresistible force Katong gidirect, gidirect mismo niya Kung dili ni mo siya pusilon 
akong pisuon ning imuha nga kuan. You know what I mean? So, mo na siya class ang uh, irresistible force directed against the kaning person mismo. So, do you remember class sa katotoang ato pong mga circumstances affecting criminal liability? So, kung mo ni gigamit sa kuan class, kung mo ni gigamit sa inducer ni mo, for example, ikaw huwan, ikaw kintahay ang gi-induce Nako, ako kita ang inducer ni mo. So ako gi-induce ka nako by irresistible force. Okay? Ako gi ako kang gi <coughs> banganan. Gituok ka nako kung dili ni mo posilon tong kuan, uh, akong akong dili ka nako buhian. So kung ingon ana manggali class or ako siya ako kang gi hadlok nga kung dili ni mo patyon kana na ang akong gustong ipapatay ni mo. Uh, ako usad nga i-click ang trigger sa ako ang pistola nga nakatiun sa imong asawa. So, mo na siya ang causing uncontrollable fear. So, you have to remember nga katutuwa bitaw circumstances affecting criminal liability. Unsa man ni sila? Do you remember? Unsa man ni sila? These are exempting circumstances. So, kung ikaw ang direct particip uh, principal by direct participation, magkasuhay gani later on. Pwede ka makagamit aning duha ka exempting circumstances. Kung kaniman gani ang gigamit sa inducer nako na ni mo. Okay? So unsa man ang ikaduha? Uh, two ways of becoming principal by in, uh, induction. Ang ikaduha, by directly inducing another to a crime by giving price or offering of reward using words of command. So, kung ang ako galing pa agi class, kung ako ang uh, inducer ni mo, is price or reward? Ako kang gihatagag consideration. Do you still consider kung ikaw ang uh, principal by kaning direct participation? Can you still use this as exempting circumstance? Not anymore. Unsa naman siya class? Aggravating circumstance na siya class? Ninyo, kung ikaw ang direct participator, ikaw kung kanigali ang paagi sa akong inducement sa imuha, imong gidawat ang price or reward, mahimo na siyang uh, aggravating circumstance sa imuha nga part uh, in, in considering the penalty ni mo as participant by or oh, as principal by direct participation. Okay? So, you have to remember nga kaning words of command class must come from a person who has uh, ascendancy or influence okay dili na siya pwede nga kanang dili siya consider class nga kani principal by inducement ang person nga nagsugo kuno nimo nag-induce nimo pero wala siya by words of command pero wala siya ascendancy or influence nimo ngano man kung wala ay ascendancy kanang ascendancy dili siya superior nimo ba uh, influence usa may mga example sa mga persons nga na-influence nimo kanang imuha kintahay nga kanang kuya nga moy nag-eskwela nimo moy nag uh, gasto sa imong pag-eskwela sa imuhang pagpuyo tanan so siya ang nagasto nimo mo na siya nay ascendancy nay control nay influence over you pero kung ang imuhang amigo ang nag-induce sa imuha without any consideration at all gistoryahan ra ka by words of command okay patya na siya So, kana na siya, dili ni mo uh, under the law class or under the uh, plethora of kuan ba, kana Supreme Court uh, decisions bitaw. Kung kana mga tawhana, dili na ni mo ma, dili na siya pwedeng uh, uh, imo mapasumanginlan, ma imo madalahig ba sa kaso. Nasiya man ang nag-induce nako. Na no, dili siya ma-consider as principal by inducement because wala siya ascendancy or influence over you. Okay? So, the words of command, you have to remember, must be uttered prior to the commission. And that, the material executor or katong person, katong principal by direct participation, material executor of the crime, has no personal reason to commit the crime. Kay kung ikaw mismo na kay personal reason, kay nalagot ka, kay bati siyang dagway. So, uh, kung na kay personal reason to commit the crime, then, dili ni mo siya pwedeng ipasumangil sa person nga nag-induce kuno ni mo kunuhay ni mo ngano man dili ni mo siya pwedeng madalahi kay ngano ikaw mismo na kay personal reason to kill the person okay 
when does a principal by induction become liable? So the principal by induction becomes liable only when the principal by direct particip participation committed the act induced. Kung wala galigi commit sa principal by direct participation ang krimen nga gi-induce kintahay nako dili ko criminally liable as principal by inducement. Okay, ngano man malamang wa gui criminal hita bo my god class ki analyze and lies buta pag my time di ba so number 2 the inducement must precede the act induced and must so must be so influential in producing the criminal act that without it the act would not have been performed okay number 1 precede usay precede dapat ang in, an inducement naguna sa krimen malamang pwede din nga inducement unya na uwahi Gipakpaka na lang siya sa pagkanang pagkahuman sa pagpatay para atong nahitabo ni Robin nga iyang gisuhulan ang nagpatay sa iyang ex-wife. After naman ang pagkaistorya nila. So must precede meaning nag nahitabo before ang inducement, before nag-commit ang krimen. Number two the inducement must be so influential in producing the criminal act that without it, the act would, have not, would not have been performed. Unsaon man nato pag-consider nga influential siya? Number one, katong na uh, ascendancy or na siya influence uh, ni mo, nga principal by direct participation, uh, siya ang nagpa-eskwila ni mo, siya ang nagpakaon ni mo. Uh, another thing, katotoang uh, kuan uh, katong irresistible force uncontrollable fear dili day siya influential nga kung dili ni mo patyon dili ni mo tumanon ang iyang inducement ikaw may iyang patyon or iha ang patyon ang imuhang asawa so mao na siya ang uh, mao na siya ang uh, kuan ba kana ang gauge class ba ang parameter kanus ani mo consider nga inducement is influential okay so ingon ana ang ingon ana ang level sa kana parameter ato ang gigamit nga sugdanan para ma-consider siya nga influential ang inducement. Okay? So what are the effects of the acquittal? So the next question is, what are the effects of the acquittal of the principal by direct participation upon the liability of the principal by inducement? Conspiracy is negated by acquittal. Okay? So tungod kay na acquit man siya na negate na ang conspiracy unsay pasabot og negate class meaning dili na nimo dili na siya considered ba nga nay conspiracy murag nawagtang ang conspiracy by acquittal of the co-defendant so kung na acquit man gani ang direct participator sa crime maacquit po ka ngano man there is no crime committed okay so, this is the effect of the acquittal of the principal by direct participation upon the liability sa principal by inducement. Okay, illustrations. Number one, while in the course of a quarrel, a person shouted to A, Kill him! Kill him! Patya siya! Patya siya! A killed the other person. Is the person who shouted criminally liable? Is that inducement? No. Nga man. The shouting must be an irresistible force for one shouting to be liable. Kung ingon na nagalik class, pw pwede ni mo mapasaling, mapasangin lang na itanan. Kung kanini ang nga principal by inducement, what if ang iyang gidirect na na patya, patya ang lamok, patya ang lamok. Una, imo ang nadunggan, imo lang kita ipong ipatay kayo, ni ingon ang katong naas imong kilid nga patya siya. So, mao na siya class nga ang print uh, kanini ang illustration class um, while it is funny pero mao ni siya ang classic example nga dapat the inducement must be so influential nga the act could not have been committed by the person induced kung dili unta. Okay? So, Number two, nga illustration, uh, in People versus Agapinay, the one who uttered, kill him, we will bury him, while the felonious aggression was taking place, cannot be held liable as principal by inducement. The, uh, the utterance was said in the excitement of the hour, not a command to be obeyed. So, kana bang simultaneous bitaw siya class sa sitwasyon, kanang naakintahay uh, panag nakitahay uh, panag away ba murag ni grumble sila class unya while nai aggression nga mga panghitabo 
uh, na ining author din, pati na lang siya, ato na siyang ikuan, kanang da sa kapungot ba? So, kung under ka sa excitement of, uh, excitement sa imong kapungot or sa imong kalagot, it is not a command, the utterance, ang kanang pagka-istorya, nga kill him, dili na siya command class. Okay? Which needs to be obeyed by the person, by direct part, uh, by the direct participator. So, dili siya makonsider ang katong person na ning, ning, ning shout, kill him, we will bury him. Uh, under, under the excitement ba? sa panghitabo dili siya mo considered as principal by inducement number 3 ng illustration people versus madal so kanin ni asya ka uh, kanin ni asya class uh, um gi bunog ang iyang anak so uh, not in good terms sila sa ilaha nga kuan sa ilaha nga silingan so the father challenged everybody and when the neighbors approached he went to get a rifle so ang asawa uh, ning singgit Here comes another. Po sila siya. So, kanini, I cannot make the wife a principal. Ang wife ko no, by virtue of his, oh, her shouting, po sila na ni siya, nanay, nailain nga person. Cannot make a wife principal by inducement. Okay? In the absence of proof that the words had, uh, had great influence over the husband. Okay? So, diri magod ani nga mao nga klase, uh, kaso class, Uh, dili wala kayo siya ma-establish unsa ang unsa ang influence sa wife over the husband nabi po ibang wife class no nga under sa husband dili necessarily nga siya ang naay uh, dili tanang mga bana class under the saya na po yung mga asawa ang under in town po sa ilang husband so it is not the determining cause of the crime in the absence of proof wala may proof nga gi show that the words had great influence over the husband Okay? So, tungod kay wala may gishow nga proof nga na-influence si wife over the husband, wala siya makonsider as principal. The wife is not considered principal by inducement. Nga naman, class, do you remember the requirement in criminal law? Ang requirement sa criminal law, quantum of proof there is a criminal law, class, is proof beyond reasonable doubt. So, kung wala ka muhatag o proof nga na great influence, nga naging mo idalahig ang asawa? as principal by inducement. Na wala man kay proof beyond reasonable doubt. Okay? So, mo ni siya in this case, wala siya gi-consider si wife as principal by inducement. Okay. Important notes sa principal by inducement. Ang inducer, mo ni siya ang tawag na to, inducer. The principal by inducement must intend that his inducement be obeyed. So, dapat iya ha jud nang intend nga i-obey ang iyang inducement the inducer's utterances must be of such a nature and made in such a manner as to become the determining cause of the crime okay where the word utter did not make any great dominance or wala siyang influence on the offenders or wala siyang uh, no longer necessary as the offenders were already determined to commit the offending acts the utterance will not make the utter, uh, utterer an inducer Okay, so under this case, people versus parungaw, ang katumanggong principal by direct participation class, sila mismo, ganahan doon sila mo patay. Okay? The offenders were already determined to commit the offending uh, offending acts. So, sila mismo na sila intention doon nga mo patay. So, unya, plus, wala pa doon dominance or influence ang person nga nag-induce kuno nila. So, mo nang wala siya consider as principal by inducement because wala siya dominance wala influence and the direct participators sa crime are already determined to commit the act and the inducement is no longer necessary kay sila mismo determinado sila mo commit okay mere careless comment of one does not possess dominance of one who does not possess dominance or moral ascendancy will not make that person a principal by inducement okay always remember that to be liable the principal by inducement or the mastermind is liable even if he did not appear at the scene of the crime because the crime would not have been committed without the inducement okay so ang ang principal by inducement class unlike the principal by direct participation dili na siya importante nga mo appear siya sa scene of the crime nga man kay without his inducement the crime would not have been committed man unta 
So, ang inducement jud mo ay nakapag-commit sa krimen. Okay? So, dili siya, dili siya necessary nga present siya sa scene of the crime. Okay, let's go back to the three types of, uh, three kinds of principal. Number three, principal by indispensable cooperation. Under paragraph three, maunin siya ang katong thin line sa accomplice, akong gidiscuss previously. Kung sa maling elements, ano nila? Participation in the criminal resolution that is there, uh, uh, that is, there is either anterior conspiracy or unity of cri criminal purpose and intention immediately before the commission of the crime charge. This requires the participation in the criminal resolution. There must be conspiracy and concurrence. Okay? Number two, cooperation in the commission of the offense by performing another act without which it would not have been accomplished. Okay? His cooperation, it means class nga, his cooperation must be indispensable. The, uh, if dispensable siya, always remember this one. If dispensable gali ang iyang cooperation, the accused is only an accomplice. Dili siya principal by indispensable cooperation. If the cooperation is necessary for the execution of the offense, the accused is considered a principal by, by direct participation. So, kung necessary sad siya sa execution of the offense, the accused is considered considered principal by direct participation. Ang iyang cooperation ani class, always remember class, sa principal by uh, direct uh, indispensable cooperation class, dili siya necessarily nga siya ang nag-execute sa krimen. Na lang siya'y act nga nagtabang sa direct participator sa krimen para makumit ang uh, ang katong mismo nga krimen. Okay? So, ang importante nga mga elements ani indispensable cooperator class, ang kaning nga person is naadjud siya uh, naadjud siya uh, anterior conspiracy kahibaw jud siya malamang kalit day pud siyang tabang din ha nga wala siya kanang wala siya anterior motive or conspiracy or unity sa criminal purpose so siya mismo nagkasinabtanay sila sa krimen nga ilang buhaton against the person okay so it requires participation in the criminal resolution and there should be a uh, conspiracy. Pero class, you have to remember nga dili ipasabot nga needed jud nga magsabot-sabot sila. Okay? Concurrence is sufficient meaning ang iyahang pag kanabang pag -coord, ang coordinated nga maactions mismo ba during sa during sa pagperform na mismo sa krimen. Bisan pa og wala siya wala siya'y labot sa ilang pagsabot-sabot. For example, class, nagsabot-sabot sila sa Domingo. Karoon kita yung Adlawa. Nagsabot-sabot sila, sabot sila sa ilahang krimen nga i-commit in Igalunes. Unya, pag at to sa lunes, na, na ikalima nila nga, na ikalima nila nga amigo, nga wala necessarily sa sabot ang pagka Domingo. Pero pag execute mismo sa krimen, Ning concur siya, automatic, walay giisto, walay istorya-istorya sa iha mga kaubanan, automatic. Ning concur siya, nakasabot siya nga ning unite siya sa criminal purpose sa iha mga kaubanan. Unya ang iyang partisipasyon, ang iyang partisipasyon, iyang pagtabang kay indispensable, meaning ang iyang kooperasyon kung wala unta na dili ma-accomplish ang krimen. Okay? So if the cooperation ani nga mao nga person is necessary for the actual or physical execution sa offense class dili siya principal by indispensable cooperation unsa naman siya principal by direct participation siya class unsay kalahi niya ang kalahi niya class is that si principal by direct participation siya jud ang actual nga ni commit ang principal by indispensable cooperation na siya mga simultaneous act ba sa kanang while gi-commit ang krimen pero ang iyang pagtabang iyang kooperasyon dili mismo ang katotoang pag-actual nga ning actual nga pagpatay ang iyang nga kooperasyon class importante lang para ma-commit sa principal by direct participation ang pagpatay unsa may mga example ana kato akong gihata nga example before for example, kintahay, naamoy patyunon, o niya ang inyong patyunon, 
kanini ang um, nagtago-tago siya sa kabukiran wa na siya mahibawi kung asa siya niya na si usa ka person nga inyong inyong amigo nga siya ang ni tudlo kung asa nagtago tong inyong patyonon okay kung kung wala niya gitudlo unta ang katong location sa inyong patyonon the act would not have been com uh, committed man dili man ta ninyo mapatay mao nang gitawag siya indispensable cooperation dili siya mismo ang nagpatay kay dili man siya principal by direct participation pero ang iyang kooperasyon mooy nakaangin nga na execute ang krimen mao na siya class okay so sa principal by indispensable cooperation class you have to remember nga there must be collective criminal responsibility on sa my collective criminal responsibility class meaning the act of one is the act of all Maura ni siyang effect sa conspiracy. This is present when the offenders are criminally liable in the same manner and the same extent. So, bisan pa si indispensable cooperator class, nagtudlo lang siya kung asa nagpuyo tong nagtago-tago ninyo nga patyo nun, bisan pa dili siya ang nagpatay mismo. Pariho ra siya o criminal liability sa person nga ning execute sa krimen. The penalty to be imposed must be the same for all. Okay? So, on sa man mga illustrations, ane, principles by direct participation, kaning mga collective responsibility, on sa may mga examples, ane, kato, principal, principal by direct participation, collective ang iyang responsibility, silang tanan, tanan mga principles. Okay? Principles by induction, Except those who directly force another to commit a crime and principals by direct participation have collective direct participation have collective responsibility. So sila pareho sila tanan. Principal by indispensable cooperation have collective criminal responsibilities with the principal by direct participation. Ngano man na amay conspiracy class and kahibaw naman mo kung sa effects sa conspiracy the act of one is the act of all so when do you can you consider when does it happen nga na ay individual criminal responsibility kanos ama ni mahitabo in the absence sa may pasabot ng individual criminal responsibility class meaning i consider kung unsa jud ang imong participation di ba niingon ko ninyo ganina nga kung collective risk uh, kana criminal responsibility bisan pag unsa ang inyong participation sa krimen si indispensable cooperator and the direct participator sa kaning krimen criminally liable sila in the same way and the same extent pero na instances class nga na individual criminal responsibility meaning i-assess sa court kung unsa jud mismo ang imuhang participation sa krimen dili ka necessarily i-consider nga principal so uh, i-punish the same way as the principal so kanu sa man ni mahitabo ang individual criminal responsibility in the absence of any previous conspiracy kung dili galin nato ma-establish nga na conspiracy unity of criminal purpose an intention to immediate uh, intention immediately before the commission of the crime or community of criminal design kung wala galin ni siya the criminal responsibility arising from criminal acts directed against one and the same person is individual and not collective so kung dili gali ninyo ma-establish ang previous conspiracy meaning na amoy panagsabot-sabot previously individual ang inyong nga criminal responsibility and not collective so each of the participants is liable only for the act committed by him so daily siya is considered as the act of one is the act of all so you have to remember this one so um uh, importante po nga mga notes aning uh, indispensable cooperator There must be direct participation in the criminal design. Okay? Direct participation in the criminal design. Okay? Unsa may pasabot o criminal design sa panagplano-plano. Sa ilang conspiracy by another without which a crime could not have been committed. So unsa may nahitabuan ni people versus fronda class. 
Uh, ang Supreme Court said nga, neither was it established that his act was of such importance that the crime would not have been committed without him or that he participated in the actual killing. Under the circumstances, he cannot be considered a principal by indispensable cooperation. Kani good class, ani nga mao nga kaso, wala jud siya ma-establish ang importance sa iyang partisipasyon, iyang pag-cooperate sa pag-commit sa krimen. Unya wala pud ma-establish nga ni participate siya sa actual killing. So, dili siya indispensable cooperator, kay dili wala may importance ang iyang uh, uh, iyang uh, cooperation. Dili pud siya actual kana direct participator. Okay? So, Uh, dili siya indispensable kanang dili siya indispensable cooperator tungod kay wala ma-establish ang importance sa iyang uh, iyang gikatampo ba sa krimen. Wala pud siya dili pud siya gitawag nga direct participator or principal by direct participation kay wala man pud siya ni participate sa actual killing. Okay? Dili pud siya principal by inducement kay wala man pud siya ingon nga siya ay nagsugo. So unsa may nahitabo niya? Posible nga makonsider lang siya nato nga accomplice. Okay? So, indispensable cooperator may be a co-conspirator under the doctrine of implied conspiracy. They must be they must have common intent, criminal intent which is instantaneous, no pre-agreement. There must be active and actual participation. Okay, again, sa akong gina-mention ganina, dili man necessary class nga naadto'y actual jud nga actual nga paragsabot-sabot sila para mo-consider ka nga indispensable cooperator. Okay? Bisan pa og uh, na implied conspiracy kana bang murag implied dani nga nagkasinabot na nagka nagka ay to ay lang mo nagkasinabot na mo nga inyong patyo nun inyong patyo ning inyong hang uh, kaning giinitan sa inyong grupo wala mo actually nagsabot unya ang imuhang nga kooperasyon indispensable so mao na siya class ang uh, mga important no sa principal by indispensable uh, cooperation Okay, so let's go to um, okay. So how does the indispensable cooperator participate in the commission of the crime? A PIC or caning principal by indispensable cooperation participates by means of an act without which the crime would not have been committed. The PIC or principal by indispensable cooperation need not be a party in the planning stage of the conspiracy for he may become a principal at the moment of the execution. He may become at the moment of the execution of the crime with other principals. Mabitaw tong niingon ko ninyo class nga naay gitawag og doctrine of implied conspiracy. Okay? Kay bisan pag implied resha wala mo magsabot-sabot previously pero during sa actual at the moment of the execution sa crime aning uh, participate ka unya indispensable lagi muhang uh, imong gikatampo para ma, ma, ma madayon jud ang krimen uh, pwede kang matawag nga PIC or principal by indispensable cooperation mao gani gitawag siya so napay comment si ma'am no mao gani gitawag siya nga co-conspirator in implied conspiracy because uh, wala siya gi-require nga ang inyong conspiracy na adri actual nga panagsabot-sabot. Okay? How does the indispensable cooperator participate in the commission of the crime? The participation of the PIC must be indispensable. If not indispensable, again, unsay may tabo niya, uh, he, may, he may be considered an accomplice. Okay. So, when is one an accomplice instead of an indispensable cooperator? When his cooperation is not indispensable, malamang. Okay? So, in this case, uh, People versus Soto, the pump boat owner was held as an accomplice. Nga naman, his cooperation was not indispensable as his participation in the criminal design is not by another act without which a crime would not have been committed. Nga naman, nagoy laing tag po sa pump boat, pwede manggun nga magamit og laing nga pump boat. So, morning nga si kaning kanini as si Soto, wala siya ma-consider as principal by indispensable cooperation but merely an accomplice. Okay? So, even if there is conspiracy, the liability of the principals may be different. Okay? So, di ba akong gimension ganina class nga, uh, kung naay ang implied conspiracy, uh, kung naay conspiracy, the act of one or the uh, is the act of all, dapat naasilay kaning kuan 
uh, community of criminal design. So, ang ilaha po nga kuan, the same ang extent sa ilahang penalty, the same po ang ilahang uh, uh, period extent of the same po na ilahang uh, penalty. So, here, since GG did not know the treacherous manner by which CC was supposed to kill the victim, GG shall be liable for homicide while CC for murder. Okay, so, kanang, in order not to complicate things, dili sita maghisgot anong murder o homicide ha, kay lahi-lahi uh, na magoy mga qualifying circumstances nga mahimo siyang, pariho na siyang effect class, homicide and murder na ay namatay. Pero na mga certain qualifying circumstances under Article 248 which qualifies the killing into murder. Okay? So, dili na to i-complicate ang mga things kay complicated na ang inyong mga relasyon. Okay. So, the nature of cooperation sa PIC or Principal by Indispensable Cooperation uh, must be knowingly or intentionally rendered. Di kay ingon nagkataon lang dapat intentionally render jud ang ihang kooperasyon. Okay? The accused must unite with the criminal design of the principal by direct participation. So meaning dapat ang iyang action para ma-consider siya as PIC or principal by direct participation, dapat uh, the same ang iyang intention criminal design. Dili kay nagkataon lang ani abot siya. Hoy, Ginoo ko, ang ako amigo kay kanini ang kuan kanang Uh, naigi patay niya kung pag ganahan lang siya mo patay wa galik siya kahibaw kinsa tong gipatay wa puto kahibaw siya kinsa po ang nagpatay nikalit lang siya so kana wala siya unity of purpose or unity in criminal design lahi-lahi ang ilahanga mga intention so let's go to accomplices diri na ta who are criminally liable number 2 accomplice Accomplices are those persons who are, not, who are not being included in Article 17. Meaning, dili sila principal. Kay Article 17, man itong gisgutan nga nag-define sa principals. Cooperate in the execution of the offense by previous or simultaneous act. Highlight previous or simultaneous act. Okay? Sa accomplices. Okay. Elements. That there be community of design. That is knowing the criminal design of the principal by direct participation. He concurs with the latter in his purpose. Number two, that he cooperates in the execution of the offense by previous or simultaneous acts, with the intention of supplying material or moral aid in the execution of the crime in the in an efficacious way. And third, that there be relation between the acts done by the principal and those. By the accomplice, lahi po ka ayo class kung ang accomplice kay nag Padong siya sa north onya ang 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 direction sa direction sa imong principal kay naa sa south di dili walay relation ang ilang acts done ba so in summary class dapat na community in design pasabot ana kay budget mismo ang accomplice sa plano criminal design sa mga principal onya ning concur siya meaning ning uyon siya sa plano sa mga principal Number two, ning cooperate siya by giving material or moral aid by previous or simultaneous acts. Meaning, previous, meaning before, simultaneous during the execution of the crime. Number three, there must be relation sa iyang gibuhat sa intention sa principal. Okay? And number four, nga wala na kumalista dire, dapat ang iyang cooperation class must not be indispensable. Nga naman, kung indispensable gali ang iyang kooperasyon, then he is not merely an accomplice. He is a PIC or Principal by Indispensable Cooperation. Accomplices class are persons who are not acting as principals cooperating in the execution of the offense by previous and simultaneous acts, which are not indispensable. Mani akong i-mention ganina. Not indispensable to the commission of the crime. They act as mere instruments that performs acts not essential to the perpetration of the offense. When is one regarded as an unaccomplice? Uh, you, first, you need, to, you need to determine if there is conspiracy. So, dapat na ay conspiracy. If there, is, if there is conspiracy, as a general rule, the criminal liability of all will be the same because the act of one is the act of all. Okay? Pero, 
Kanusa man siya, nga accomplice lang siya. You have to consider the other traits of an accomplice. Okay? So, does not have previous agreement or understanding or is not in conspiracy with the principal by direct participation. Okay? So, para dili siya makonsidered class nga principal, dapat wala siya previous agreement or kanini ang conspiracy previous agreement or understanding sa principal by direct participation nga naman, kung naamanggod siya conspiracy na class makonsider ma namanggod siya nga kanang act of one is the act of all therefore, mahimo siyang principal wala kay, wala kay gitawag nga accomplice unsa man day jud ang accomplice class as compared to principal ang accomplice class, di ba niingon ta diri sa element, nga, ang accomplice dapat na ay community of design Kung sabi pa sabot ang community of design Meaning, na ajo siya conspiracy Unta na siya kanang kalabutan Sa krimen Dili, Dili eh, Ang community of design class One na magpasabot ang conspiracy Meaning, pariho Ning uyun siya ba? Ning uyun siya sa uh, Plano Sa intention sa iyaha nga Principal so, to better understand, unsa man ang kalahian, what are the differences between principal or a co conspirator and an accomplice? Money siya mga differences. Number one, they know ang, ang con conspirator class or co-conspirator, they know of and join in the criminal design. Meaning, na conspiracy sa ilang pagplano. Ang accomplice class, they know and agree with the criminal design wala si wala sila mo join sa criminal design mo ni ang kalahian okay di rining join jud siya si accomplice class ning agree lang siya sa criminal design pero wala siya ning join sa pagplano okay so next conspirators know the criminal intention because they themselves have decided upon such course of action so they themselves decided si accomplice class accomplices come to know about it after na the principals have reached the decision and only then do they agree to cooperate in its execution meaning na human na na human na ang ilahang pagplano sa principal diha pa siya nahibaw sa sa mga plano sa principal wala jud siya ning appeal mismo sa planning stage number 3 ang principal or conspirators decide that a crime should be committed sila mismo ang ning decide however si accomplice class merely assent unsay pasabot og merely assent ning uyon lang siya ning sunod lang siya to the plan and cooperate in its accomplishment fourth Conspirators or principals are authors of the crime. Sila ang nagplano. Ang accomplices class are merely instruments who perform acts not essential to the perpetration of the offense. So, maunis siya ang mga kalahian sa principal versus accomplice. Okay? So, if I ask you during the exam, is there conspiracy? Kung kanang is conspiracy required for you to uh, consider to be considered as an accomplice, true or false? Kung may yun kalimog true class, oh, malamang wa mo maminaw aning ato ang discussion. Kay ang conspiracy lagi class, the act of one is the act of all. So ayo paghisgot ng accomplice siya kung kung kung, kung conspirator siya. Kay mahimo jud siyang principal kay act of one is the act of all. The same extent ang ilaha nga penalty. Again, ang accomplice class, nahimo lang siyang uh, uh, ang iyang partisipasyon kay nahibaw lang siya after na after na naka-decide or after na nagplano ang mga principal, after na sila nag-conspire sa ilang pag-commit sa krimen. Okay? So, in People vs. Uh, People versus Lakao, uh, the Supreme Court said nga mere presence does not of itself constitute simultaneous act to be considered an accomplice. Kung present lang ka sa krimen, kung dili ni mo ma-establish gali kung unsa ang iyang moral aid or moral uh, mo aid and support ana na ang uh, mga principles sa pa direct participation. Ayaw 
ayaw siya i-considered agad nga conspiracy uh, kaning accomplice nga naman class um again class ang uh, mere presence without other proof nga unsay iyang aid iyang iyang partisipasyon sa krimen um wala siya ning wala siya maka kuan ba wala siya maka comply sa requirements sa proof beyond reasonable doubt <coughs> nga gi-require sa balaon para ma-considered siya as an accomplice the mere knowledge and participation participation do not suffice to make one a, co uh, a conspirator for such are required also of an accomplice especially if even without this participation the crime the crime could not have been accomplished so kung dili may establish kung unsa jud ang partisipasyon unya um wala siya wala siya ikuan class dili bitaw ma dili nimo ma define wala proof kung unsa jud mismo ang iyang partisipasyon ba is partisipasyon as principal or na consider na siya sa accomplice. So, kung ingon anak gali in the in case of doubt gani class ang ang hinumdumo sa inyong indubyo pro reo in case of doubt in favor of the favor the accused. So, kung wala gali ka ng proof is uh, nga ma-establish kung unsa ang iyang partisipasyon consider him as an accomplice. Kay mao man siya ang naghatag og lower penalty. Okay? So principal by ako uh, versus accomplice. Principals, principal by inducement induces the other offenders to commit an act in such a way that without the inducement the crime would not have been committed. He wills that his inducement be obeyed by exerting influence or uh, or moral ascendancy over the malefactors, katun direct participator. The cooperation of the principal in the offense of in this uh, in the offense is indispensable. Without which a crime would not have been committed. So mawani siya ang mga kuan, mga principals. Ang accomplice, accomplice, accomplices utterances or inducement are not indispensable para makonsider siya as an accomplice. The cooperation of accomplice is minor. Dili siya indispensable. Mawani siya ang kalahian nilang duha para minor siya. Indispensable principal by their indispensable cooperation niya unya. Indispensable ang iyahang uh, participation, minor lang ang accomplice. Okay? So both the principal and the accomplice, uh, accomplice act before or during the commission of the crime. Nga no mang importante maning before or during. Nga no man by previous and simultaneous act. Mao ni siya ang ka kaparihaan, the same ni silang principal and accomplice kay ilang participation. Uh, ang ilang acts kay gi-execute before or during the commission of the crime mausad ang kalahian ni accessories nga mao ang atong article 19 nga no man ang accessories class again remember after the fact okay accessories after the fact subsequent na sa krimen okay So again, who are accessories? So accessories are those having knowledge of the commission of the crime. So ang ilahang na ang ilahang knowledge kay ang commission na mismo sa krimen, and without having participated therein, wala sila mo participate as principal or accomplice, take part subsequent to its commission in any of the following manners. So there are three manners nga mo mo participate. See, accessory number one. By profiting themselves or assisting the offender to profit the effects of the crime, meaning ah, nakakwan sila ba? Nakaganan siya sila ba? Profiting themselves, um, or ni assist sila, ni assist sila ah sa offenders to profit from the effects of the crime. Unsa man ni mga effects of crime? Kani mga kinawat kintahay. So sila mismo nakakwan sila, nakakwarta, nakaganan siya sila. Okay, concealing or destroying the body of the crime, meaning katung corpus delicti. Unsa man tung body of the crime? Pasabot bag body sa person dili. Corpus ah kanang kuan kanang corpus delicti refers to kanang proof nga the events or proof nga the crime has been committed. So kung inyo nagi conceal ang tanan nga kanang mga effects sa crime para ma effects or instruments para ma conceal or mo prevent sa iyang discovery. Then you are an accessory. Number three, harboring or concealing or assisting in the escape of the principal of the crime, provided the accessories acts with abuse of 
public functions. So, kanin ni ang mga accessory class, duha ang types of accessory. Mone siya mga accessories nga mga public, public officers. Okay? Ang kaning ikaduha, private ni siya ha? Private individual. Okay, sorry sa agi class kay nindot kayo. Okay. So, ang kaning ikatulo, di ba? Tulo man ni ka kaning types sa mga accessories. Number one, kato mga ning profit, kato ni kaganansya. Number two, kato ni conceal, nagtago, kato ning guba sa mga effects sa crime para mo prevent sa discovery sa katong nagcommit mismo sa crime sa principal. O katong nagtago o ning assist sa pag-escape sa principal. Katong ning tago, ning ning tago na kanini ang ning assist sa pag-escape sa principal. Duha ni silang duha ni sila uh, ang type nila. So ang first type katutu ang ang first nga grupo katong mga public officers. Public officers nga ning abuse sa ilaha nga public functions. So, kaning public officers class, for as long as ning abuse sila sa ilang public functions, bisan pag unsa nga krimen ang nakumit sa principal. Okay? Ang principal nga ilang gi-assist or ilang gitago, bisag unsa nga krimen ni class ha? Basta public officers nga ning abuse sa ilang public function ang ilahang accessory. Pero kung ang accessory gali class, private individual, dili public officer, dapat ang criminal or ang ilahang nga principal nga ilang gitaguan or ilang gi-assist nga mo escape dapat guilty siya og treason, parricide, murder og attempt to take the life of the kanang executive or habitually guilty of habitual delinquent siya. Okay? Habitually guilty of some other crime. Again, ang third type sa accessories class Katong ning conceal, ning harbor, or ning assist sa escape sa principal. Kung ang principal gani class, sa ilaha nga kanang sa maong nga krimen, ning commit sa treason, ning commit og parricide, ning commit og murder, ning commit og attempt sa life sa presidente, chief executive, or habitually guilty sa other crime, ang accessory anak pwede nga private individual. Okay? Pero kung ang accessory gali siya class, public officers nga ning abuse sa iyang public functions, any crimes na siya, dili limited lang ani nga mga krimen nga naa sa ubos. Okay? So who are accessories? We will discuss that later in detail. They are those who have knowledge, na just knowledge sa krimen. Knowledge sa commission, commission sa krimen, knowledge sa commission of the crime, without having participated as principal, and who take part subsequent to its commission in any of the following means, profiting or assisting the offender to profit, concealing or destroying the body to prevent discovery, harboring, concealing, assisting in the escape. Okay, mauna siya ang mga illustrations class. Number one, a person who received any property from another and used it knowing that the same had been stolen. Stolen is guilty as an accessory. Pining profit man siya sa effect sa crime, sa stolen property. So, kamo din ha, nga katotoo ang nagbaligya-baligya, bitaw, kinawat, or si snatch nga kuan? Ito mga gipang snatch nga cellphone sa inyong mga barkada class ba? Ano inyong gibaligya? Accessory na mo. Because, You profited from the effects of the crime. So, kinsa may mga aksesory dire, erase ang ilista ha, ihatag sa itong GC. Kinsa itong mga aksesory, kihatagan akong medal. Okay? So, another kuan, another important important matter that you need to learn about kanini aksesories. There are special laws. Okay? Special laws nga nag-define of mga crimes na ginabuhat sa accessories. Okay? So, what are the effects of special laws on accessories? Unsa man ang effect? The accessory is liable as, princip as principal in another crime defined under the special laws. Okay? When, when he is an accessory whose acts or omission is also punishable by a special law, 
which is a mala prohibita. Okay, mala prohibita ba yan ang special law? The offenders generally are penalized as principals unless otherwise provided. So, while accessory sila class sa krimen nga gikomit kita na, di ba, uh, na may principal na ay, na ay accomplice na ay accessory. So, ki, for example, ning assist kintahay ka sa ning assist kintahay ka sa escape sa principal sa krimen, under the revised penal code, you are an accessory. Di ba? Kay ning assist man ka, naman ka di rin nabilong. Ning assist ka, ning conceal ka sa escape. Ning conceal ka niya, ning, ning assist ka sa escape sa principal. However, there is also a special law. Gitawag nga, antay kanibang, kan a law, punishing obstruction of justice. So, kana na a class, obstruction of justice man na siya class, which is defined under special uh, penal law. You may be considered a principal Ana nga bala, ana nga mao nga balaod provided a separate information is filed against you for that crime. Okay? So examples of special penal laws, PD 532 anti-piracy and highway uh, robbery law under your section 4 of PD 532, any person who knowingly and in any manner acquires or receives property taken uh, by such uh, pirates or brigands or any manner derives benefit therefrom shall be considered as an accomplice of the principal offenders. Di ba? Niingon ta dire sa general rule nga um, kung in violation gali sa special penal law uh, which is a mala prohibita the offenders are generally uh kuan penalized as principals principal na siya dili siya accessory but principal under that special penal law unless otherwise provided so unsa man ang giingon dire principal ba siya under PD 532 dili according to PD 532 kung ikaw gali ning receive ka sa property or ning profit ka sa property which is an uh, an act by an accessory under paragraph A sa article 19 ning profit siya sa kanang effects of the crime so kung ning profit ka under under PD 532 you may be considered an accomplice dili principal okay an accomplice ka kay mao siya ang specifically provide aning section 4 of PD 532 another PD 1612 or anti fencing law Unsa man ang giingon sa anti-fencing law? Who knowingly profits? Paragraph 19A gihapon ha, kato ni profit ni, ni nakaganan siya sa effects of the crime. One who knowingly profits or assists the principal to profit by the effects of rob robbery or theft is not just an accessory to the crime but principally liable for fencing. So, kung ikaw gali I, kuan ka, i, kanang na mo file o kaso sa imuha, ang katong imuhang principal, katong nangawat mismo, ning commit sa robbery, lahi, o ilahi galik ka sa information, for example, gamaan ka o kanang filean ka o lain nga kaso, dili ka, ifa, dili ka ilakip sa kaso sa katong robbery, nga commit sa imuhang principal, filean ka o separate case for a violation of anti-fencing law, So kato nga information class dili ka considered na nga accessory. I punish na ka dito as principal violating the anti fencing law. Okay? Ngano man nga gamiton man eh gamiton man eh sa mga kanang prosecutors ngano man good class tungod kay kung ari man go ka i-punish diri sa special penal law nga uh, anti fencing law mas dako mo siya penalty as compared sa accessory kung adto ra ka dito i-punish sa ar uh, RPC Revised Penal Code. Okay? Kay 2 degree 2 degrees lower ba siya class sa kanan na ang principal kung accessory ka. Okay? So, another example, PD 1828 or the law penalizing obstruction of justice. So, any person who knowingly or willfully obstructs, impedes, frustrates or delays the apprehension of suspects or and the investigation and prosecution of criminal cases through the acts enumerated in section 1 pwede siya ma-penalize diri sa obstruction of justice 
So, on sa mani, any person who knowingly or willfully obstructs, on sa mani mga punishable acts under obstruction of justice. Number one, uh, kani, kaning item, item C. You may notice nga at sa item C class, harboring, concealing, facilitating the escape of persons. The same bayan na siya class sa 